Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Dara with Bliss in the Chaos on both eBay and Poshmark. Today we have another jewelry unboxing video. This is a smaller one, not a 32 pound lot like the last one. This one is an eight pound lot and it was from Fort Lauderdale. Now I won this like a week and a half ago, so I am hoping that it's not full of COVID, which would suck. Ugh. I promise I will sterilize everything. I'm not 100% worried about it, but you know, I'll be cautious. Okay, so I paid $15 for this one. Shipping $18.18. That was shipping and handling. Tax a buck $4.40 $4.40 a pound. Exactly where I like to be. I'm excited for this one. Now, since it's a smaller box, I don't have to change camera angles or anything. Let's open it up and get some first impressions. I don't remember if the pictures looked like super good or anything, but I liked the price. So we'll keep maybe going for those ones because it's a lot cheaper than those bigger lots. Alrighty, so there's my packing list. Ooh, look at this. We can see right off the top that there is a like a little sack in here, like this little linen sack and this big old barrette thing. And oh, it's gonna be in several different bags and loose. So this should be fun. Let's look through this bag first. I am going to dump out the whole thing. cover. Okay. Now, here we are. Oh my goodness. Look at this Tory Burch cuff. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. How, is that even, how does that even fit on somebody though? You have to heat treat it to get that on there? I mean, geez, oh Pete, that will not fit me. That's teeny. That's cool though, Tory Burch. Hope it's authentic. <laughs> I'm gonna sit down and get comfortable. All right. So it looks like we have some jewelry findings here. We have some, uh, these are charms, but you could make these into, I was gonna say necklaces again, my brain is not working. And you can make them into earrings or whatever else you wanna do with them. I'll probably just put those in the lot, sell them as is, something like that. So put that over there for the lot. And here's another set. Oh, these are cute. I like the blue, but these rainbowy, watermelony ones are fun too. That's cool. All right, here we have some silver plated ear wires. These are the kind that kind of fold over and hook in to themselves. So that's nice. Eight pieces. I could use those myself. I'll put that in my repair pile. Okay. Here we have a sack of buttons. I'm not going to take them all out, just a few. There's these little trash bags in there. Okay, so some are darker than others. See, like that one is more patina than that one does. There's this whole little sack of these gold and brassy buttons. That's good for a lot, too. Looks like I can determine their vintage, and maybe I'll sell them as vintage buttons. Looks like we have a broken piece in here. There's some little scraps of elastic. Oh, that's a pretty bead. Little scraps of elastic, and then these stone, shell, glass, pottery. I don't know. These little beads. So I'll kind of set these to the side and see what they make. Hey, dice! My husband was just complaining that the kids lost all of his dice, so yay. <laughs> Bead, the Tory Birch bracelet. It's a little organza bag. Here is a bag. It's from a jeweler. It looks like it's written in Hebrew, perhaps. That's cool. I think it's empty. Yeah, it's empty. Okay, here's another bead. We have another button cover. These are Nani New York. 
button covers. Cute. I had another one. There it is. This one's a button cover too. Give them their own pile. Here's a an earring. Wow. Look at that. Earring. It's unmarked gold tone with this little aqua color bead and then this frosted glass one that's broken. So Ugh. that's not glass, it was plastic. Thank goodness. That's to the lot. Another safety pin. You can always use another safety pin. Here is a ridiculous dolphin. He's very cute though. He's got stuff inside of him. He's got like I don't know how much you can see, but there's little charms like an octopus and there are some shells and some beads. That's funny. That'll go for the little kids lot. I got a whole bag of kids stuff. It's just some random floral accents. Ooh, a jelly. Ugh. This is a jelly bracelet and it's sticky. Oof. So gross. Here is a charm bracelet. This is also Tory Burch. See the little logo right there? Little Tory Burch, that's cute. And it says, embrace ambition. That's neat. Put that with the other one. We got some of those friendship band bracelet thingies and a bobby pin and the other earring that is also broken. So that goes with the other one into the craft lot. Got some silver Mardi Gras beads for the kids lot. Here's just a random black button that I don't need. It's a little drop earring, kind of a topazy, coppery gold color. Nice. Ooh, this is one of those things. It's for your hair. You put one end in or something and then you like stretch it over and or you put your hair up and stretch it and then it goes like that and holds it. It seems risky. This is a little tool. It's a hex kind of bit there and a couple of little screws. That's weird. Here's another bag. Journeys and Manufacturing Wholesale Jewelers. But it's empty, so away it goes. This used to be an earring. Craft. Well, those two Tory Birches are going to be carrying this lot. Here's another bobby pin. Here is a little end clasp finding, probably for whatever this was. We got some more organza bags. And then, what would that be for? I don't understand that. Was somebody like practicing putting on studs or something? That's strange, I don't need that. It's an earring back. Empty, empty. This one has a couple little teeny pearls in it. <laughs> Not gold. That's really funny. And another button, another safety pin, another button. Okay, here's this, another safety pin. Here is that giant hair thing. It is just plastic and it says, made in France. So it's fancy, but it's a hair thing and mama don't sell no hair things. Here is a necklace that is coming apart. It's just gonna go right to the trash. I have another button, that one's fabric covered. Let's look at this. It's a Mary Kay cotton pouch with another bag inside of it and they are both empty. Oof. Put them over there. So far, not too impressive, except for those two bracelets. But you know, we'll have to make sure they're authentic. Oh, this looks cute. Oh, these are cute. <laughs> these are a bunch of little glass animals. We've got, okay, we have an alligator, a couple of sea stars. We have a turtle, a frog. Is the frog broken? No, he's fine couple of butterflies. This is a little bird. It's a crazy little bird. This is a couple of bugs, little ladybug looking things. Here is a dolphin, a seahorse, and a ducky. Now these are just little, this one is a bead, but these guys are all just little glass pieces. 
so they're very cute. I'm gonna sell those in my yard sale or something. I am making progress in um, getting things around and priced and organized for the yard sale. I think I'm gonna have it at the end of August, one of the weeks where my husband is home. That will be better. <laughs> so I have somebody to help me wrangle the children. Okay, let's get a little more out of here. Whoops. That one was open. Okay, let's see what's in this one. Okay, we got these glitter water bracelets that don't have the water in them anymore, and I'm not sure. No. Oh, hey, look, a giant safety pin. This one is marked K-I there on the edge. That's kind of fun. Here is a little crochet necklace. There's little doily deals on the end. Doilies and balls. And of course, it's got hair in it. I don't think I like this. No, that'll go to a lot, too. This one, let's cross our fingers. It looks promising-ish. Come here, bud. Come here. There we go. Okay. Okay, first off, we have another little bracelet. Got some black beads and that resizable thingy, and then this beautiful little gem. That's a nice little bracelet. This it is missing that this chain here needs to be fixed, which is fine. This is cute. But then you get to the end and it's missing the end part of the chain. Like these all have to go on to another chain like this so that it can close up. Or this is the chain it goes to. Boink. So you just have to put that back together. Nice. That should be easy to do. Into the fix-it lot. Ah. It is a little... That's not quite little, is it? It's, okay, we got more hair. Come here, buddy. <laughs> we got a bit of a tangle here, but this is two different necklaces. Do, do, do. Okay, well anyway, so you can see that this one is a long gold with these little V chevroni type things at the bottom. And this one is also gold tone and long. It's stuck in this thing too. <laughs> and this is the charm at the end of this one. Okay. <laughs> but it's just like a diamond shape with a tassel. Here are some findings. These little gold bead, barrel bead metal things. Jump ring. Here are like hair combs of some kind with chains. I don't know what that's all about. Here's a clasp. That's a cute clasp. Check just inside of it. It's cute, isn't it? It's one of those hidden clasps and it's fancy. I like that. There's a piece of something here. A piece of an earring, maybe? And then here we have... Oh, someone tried to fix it with glue. It's not how you fix these. See, it doesn't last. Yeah. I don't think that's fixable. It's too bad. That's pretty. Must have been cheap, though. A lot. Okay, we got some more findings in here. 
Oh, this is kind of fun. I like this open work, very light gold type leaf thingy with some chain. And all of these little beauties. Some gold ear wires. Some chain. Oh, these are signed 925 on the back of that dude. And it's got a little chain and this couple of these guys and a couple of these guys and well, that's cool. I'll put that in my 925 scrap. Then this is some beads. It looks like a work in progress, maybe, and then these little findings. Okay, so that pile goes over there, and then this is like some mesh, some mesh string, and a big old stone pendant. And then these beads. In an empty bag. <laughs> okay. A little more. DIY bead bracelet. A bobby pin. Okay. Bits and pieces. This looks promising. It's got its piece there still. This part over here does not you see how oh wait no it is there Ooh, I was looking at the wrong spot so this and this I can fix this easily like that very easily oh good <laughs> finally something to sell besides the Tory Birch okay and this one here's just the giant bead it's another one of those bead bracelets someone's fix-it pile looks like. Okay, come on out of there. There we go. Oof. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so we've got... This is okay, I guess. Looks like needs to be attached maybe in a couple more spots that's strange where well, there's a piece missing but then this guy over here right there I could fix that and those these little ringies sorry I'm not like centered am I sorry about that and they got these little rings down here that looks like things can attach to it but I don't know what We'll see how it looks once I get it fixed. Hair. Delicate gold chain. This goes through there. Does look like it needs fixed. Yeah, I don't know if I can fix that. It's such a delicate chain. I only have so many skills. And it's missing the clasp. And then the end of this is, it does say something here. Oof, okay. Mama needs her loop. what I do with it? There it is. Boink. Let's see. That's hard to read. Oh, my big old fingers. China. It has CN on there, and then I can't see what this back part says. I mean, it's pretty, but I don't think I'm going to fix it. No, that's just a scuff, probably from the back of the cheap stamp. Yeah, I don't think I'll fix that. It's unfortunate. Come on. <laughs> there. I don't know. Maybe I can fix it. I don't know. Should I? Should I not? That's going in my fix pile in case I change my mind. Here's a little gem. It's a little rhinestone. Okay, and now this one. 
Amrita Singh. Oh, there's two things in here. A broken thing. Yep, that's broken. And this one is also broken. Oh, it's the, it's the same thing. Okay, I see. The way. Looks promising. Hmm, nope. The ring on this part is broken where it would have gone there. And then that would have gone there and there. Gosh, that's too bad. I'm gonna have to read the description of this one again and see if it says they're all broken. I don't think it did. Here's the stuff. Might be silk and it's got a little horseshoe on it. Meh. Okay, let's get some more. See if it starts turning around for us. Check it out. <laughs> this is a watch thing. It's a watch tool. More watch tools. Okay, there's still a lot in here, so let's stay optimistic. Here's a loose bead. Here's another loose bead. Does this match these ones? Yeah, those match. So those will go there. This is in terrible condition and it is full of hair. It's a stretchy bracelet. And there's the rest of those pearl beads that we're coming from. Lot, lot. I will keep this because it's cool. The little box of teeny tiny machine screws. This is some, this is a watch kit. Um, it's got the different, these you load into here and it helps you push out the, um, the bars that hold the wristband onto the watch. So that's nice. I've got one of these, but you know, this one's portable. What more portable than my set? My set is pretty large. And why won't you go? Why won't you go? There we go. Okay, sure, that'll stay over there for a while. You can live there. Okay, let's see this. This is a really gross thing. Here is some rainbow friendship chain. It's another one of these, that the hair finding thingy. Not 100% sure why the chain. Oh well. Well, maybe they're supposed to go on either side of a ponytail or something too. Who knows? Here, broken again. Wow. See, I don't buy lots that are all broken like that. I mean, I bought one junk lot off of eBay once because I thought it would be fun to go through, and it was, but it was only like five bucks. But this is not fun. Hmm. Here's another button cover. More friendship bracelet. Ooh, that one's cute. That's got a little dream catcher on it. Isn't that cute? Oh. Safety pins. Bobby pins. Miami, Miami International Regatta. Somebody might like that. I'll put that in my pendant pile. Hey, another thing to sell. Here's another, Pete, that other earring that used to be an earring that's not anymore. Another Bobby pin. This is a giant rose gold Sarasota International Regatta metal. Cool. And somebody will like those, I think. Another metal. Florida's Sunshine State Games. Great seal of the state of Florida. Sunshine State Games medal. Cute. Okay. We've got this little plastic cabochon thing. This one. A bead. A piece off something that I don't know what it is. Here's an earring door knocker. It's not marked. Got some more beads, a charming Charlie tag. Beads, beads, 
these and then a broken ear hook. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Mm, okay. Let's see. Hey, a magnet. So this is a, another piece of a bracelet, a stretchy bracelet that's broken. This is a pin back or yeah, I think it was a bracelet because it's got the holes and then somebody put the pin back on it. That's really gross. I'll throw that magnet out. Don't know what this is. Another safety pin, another bead. I am less than enthused. Bead, sinker, I'm just kidding, that's a bead. <laughs> another bead, another pieces of bracelets. This one is definitely cracked and completely broken. Ugh, jeez, oh Pete. Another piece of that green one. It's the day to day getting through both the challenging. What? There's gotta be more to that than that. We'll set it aside. Oh yeah, here we go. Living, loving you has taught me what really matters in life. And the uneventful. <laughs> They've gotta be out of. It isn't all fireworks and weekend getaways to romantic places. This is a doom and gloom bracelet, isn't it? I'm just kidding, not too doom and gloom. Okay, another piece of that bracelet. Here is a crazy old finding. A piece of the necklace. It's got the stretch all broken, but it's cool. I'll probably fix that. Bead, bead, bead. Random little ring. Ugh, it's in terrible condition. It's a gem off of something. This was an earring. Oh, that's it. Like that. Okay. It's missing one off of there, too. God. Beads. <laughs> Busted bead, bead. Gosh, guys, I'm sorry if this is boring to watch. It's me being disappointed in a lot. <laughs> No, you can't catch me. Hmm. Pieces of bracelets, beads. Hey, an earring. Yuck. Beads, beads, pieces. Dang it. <laughs> pieces, beads. I don't want to like spill it all over the place because if I do, then it'll go everywhere and it won't be fun to have to get on the ground and pick it up. Okay, let's see. We've got beads and like embroidery floss, a button, Calvin Klein cologne sampler. I'm not going to smell it. <laughs> Yucky friendship bracelet. God, my trash is getting full on this one. Hey, a silly band. It's weird. Okay. Let's risk it. Piece of a belt buckle, maybe? Broken? Hollywood, LA. 
bracelet of some kind. More beads and gems. This. I don't know how well you can see it. I'm sorry. Um, it's got like these fake stones that are supposed to look like turquoise and coral and all these silver pieces and findings and earring clasps. Ugh. Pearls. It's dirty. I don't think I'm going to open that at all. Those pearls do look nice. Maybe I'll dig it out later. Okay. Another piece of this. Another piece of that. And that. And that. And that. Okay. Beads. 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 Away with ye. hair. Chain. End of a necklace. It's dirty and terrible. I'm pausing it. Junk. Junk. Hmm. A ring pillow? I'll put the ring over it like that. Nope. <laughs> Some more beads. That's stuck in there. Ew. Doesn't work anymore either. Yuck. Ooh. Okay. This is definitely vintage stuff in here. Sigrid Olsen ribbon. Why would that even be in there? This is broken. Nope, this is broken too. This little choker. It would be easy enough to fix if it's cute enough, but it's not. Lot. Broken beads for a lot. Here's a random earring. It's a Tory Birch. It's missing a gem. Hmm. I'm hoping these aren't repros. Beads, beads, trash, trash, trash. I'm not fixing it, so trash. Just a random ribbon. It's plastic. No idea what that is. Okay, here's another bracelet. It says best friends, and it's in terrible shape. More broken. More broken. Some more beads. Okay, I'm going to try to go around the beads and get out some of the stuff that's more interesting than the beads. That used to be an earring. Nice cat eye, though, isn't it? It's cool. This is a cap off of something. A bobby pin, a grommet. What's with me and grommets in these lots? My gosh. Okay. The rest of these are pretty much just beads and like a cheap pendant or two. Or whatever the heck that is. Okay, we got this piece off something. Maybe it was a ring. <laughs> oh shoot. Cheap pendants and beads and that's probably like the top of a pendant, like a bale. That's pretty. I could make that into a pendant if I wanted, but it's chipped up, so I'm not gonna. Okay. That's a 
magnet <laughs> and this funny thing. That was shell at one point. Earring. Oh, I thought it said something, but it didn't. Okay, more broken beads. Let's think of a title for this one. Mommy's Bag of Disappointment. Something like that. <laughs> more findings. Let's see this one. Findings and broken shit. I mean, stuff. We got some wire. That's nice though. I don't work with wire, but I'll maybe put that in a craft lot too. Like a, make a findings lot or something. Okay. This is hand painted, some stuff, and they are signed. C Pob, C E P O B. I don't know. Got a price tag on it. Seven dollars. <laughs> More findings. Pretty findings, but you know. Here's some disc pearls. And then this is a broken bracelet. Keep all the pieces right in there. Ooh. I don't know if I made jewelry, then I would probably be quite thrilled. Oof. Someone might enjoy that though. But I don't make jewelry. And that's broken. Slide bracelet. Okay. Adopt, don't shop. Every purchase, 10% goes to the animal shelter. For my meow.com. Aw. Oh. That's cute. It's a zipper pull, apparently. That's cute. Here's another one. That is pretty dang cute. Oh, we got some... Paparazzi. Crap. This one is a terrifically terrific orange necklace with some earrings. This one is Daredevil pink necklace. Is that the same one? No, that's not the same one. Cell Fashion Deluxe Button Stickers. So you plop these on top of the button on like the old style, older style iPhone. Okay. I don't have an older style iPhone, so. Okay, okay so this is another type of bracelet, a Bijou Turner bracelet that's all torn apart. Hey, an earring. Dare I be optimistic that there's a pair. It's pieces of a bracelet. Another bag. Another bag. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think anything is too loose in here, so let's tear it on out. Ugh, lots of pieces of elastic broken. Okay, so okay, we've got a lot of these things. I don't know what they are. They are missing a lot of gems. This one here. Okay, so this matches the earrings which is nice. Hold on, come here, buddy. 
get out the minute. Okay. And this one, it's got a tag, but it doesn't say who it is. The leather looks okay ish. All right. Something sellable. <laughs> this is a big old pendant. Lots of little beads. Ooh, somebody's penny collection. It's a piece off of something. Ugh, it's a button. This is a clip on missing something. Here's the. Oh, they're marked. Leslie Block. Eh, maybe I can find something to put on there. Oh, the better it's in here. There's a hair clip. There's a Miami Seaquarium. Arrow Frog, Miami something. Here's the Kennedy Space Center. One third The Simpsons. International Space Station. Hmm. More pieces of bracelets. This is giant dangle of some kind. Trash. More ear wires. Those are gold. I'll keep those. Some bit of lace. Another giant pendant. We've got a hair thingy. This was off of something like an ornament or something. Someone just tore it off. Another giant cab. There's a button cover. There's some more of this broken bracelet. More pieces of things. Another button cover. Like some chain mail, plastic y metal a lid off of something <laughs> holy cow you guys glad this was only 15 my oh, goodness let's take out some of this chunky stuff oh loose beads okay i think we'll go through this bag last it looks like it has some interesting things famous last words right Is my desk like not level? It must not be. These beads are just like everywhere. Okay, sorry. the bottom of the box. It's a big velvet bag. My kids might like that one. These are stone of some kind or glass. They're probably just glass. More pieces of bracelets. This wire monstrosity of a ring. Gems and BFF probably was on a cord of some kind. Here's more of that piece. Come on, beads. <laughs> okay. Random earring. Beads, beads, beads. And here's that other earring. Lots and lots of broken pieces. Here's a spring. Random beads. What's this? Okay, guys, help me out. What is this? Is it a key ring of some kind? You have to pull the head up or something. Troika, it says. That's weird. I don't know what that is. 
move over there. Come on, dudes, work with me. There. This is a little silicone bracelet that says not even once. That's kind of funny, I might sell that. <laughs> okay, stay. Beads. Okay, these ones. This is my random earring. More beads. And this chunky. More beads. Stay. Okay, this. What the even? So this is rubber. That is the weirdest thing. And it's gross and I don't like it, so it's going in the trash. And here's a chunky. Somebody might like working with those beads. Wow. Oh, God, guys, just wow. I am going to read that description again. Let me bring it out. Assorted miscellaneous items. It says miscellaneous jewelry and accessory. Eight pounds of assorted miscellaneous items. This miscellaneous slot may include, but is not limited to, hair accessories, purse hangers, keychains, waist chains, watch parts, compact mirrors, coin purses, votive, temporary tattoos, napkin rings, loose beads, craft string, or other assortments of jewelry making accessories. Well, I guess I didn't read it very well. Conditions. Some are in good, wearable condition. Some come with tags, while others may be tarnished, have broken or loose parts, missing stones, incomplete parts, need repair, cleaning, blah, 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 blah. Wow. And the pictures did not look this bad. They did not, because everything's in bags and you can't really see. So, you know, buyer beware. It is a gamble. Now, the last bit to go through. This is in a large White House Black Market organza bag. Okay. First of all, we have this funky little hair clip. We've got some toenail clippers right to the trash. That's gross. Here is a hairband. It might be cool if I can clean it. Might boil the crap out of that, see what happens. Here's another hairband. It's... Hmm. This is just a little plastic toy sea star. Another hairband. Okay, this one's stuck on this one, so we'll go on this side. Treasure trinkets, drink links. So these are wine charms. Yep, some wine charms. Those are cute. Hmm, cool. Yep, I like those. Ugh, barrettes. Angel charms. Come here. They used a couple of them, but they're mostly still here. That's cool. Looks like January and March are missing. Yeah, because these are the birthstones. I've bought some of these before. And that's supposed to be a bracelet, which was probably kind of cute at one time, but it's not anymore. <laughs> more friendship bracelet thingies. That's got an interesting bead on it. Oh, it's a Hello Kitty. I didn't even notice. Hello Kitty bead. <laughs> Is a barrette new in package. Got some beads strung on this piece of rubber. A little kid's ring. Kid's bracelet. Necklace piece. Giant butterfly hair clip. Here is a, another sizable bracelet and the charm says, my intent 
myintent.org, hashtag myintent. Discern. All right. <laughs> YOLO, be drug free. You only live once. Red Ribbon Campaign, I pledge to be drug free. Hmm. Okay, last little bit. We've got this friendship bracelet with some beads. We've got a random butterfly hair clip. We've got this lovely long satin chain with a bunch of beads on it, including some of the evil eye ones. Not very nicely made, but hey. Oh my gosh, I have a friend for my pewter penguin. Yay, they can be friends. Here you go. And then this thing, okay. It's a pin from Neiman Marcus. You can put a picture in it. You can wear it as like a pin or use it as a frame. All right. Wow. Absolutely wow. If these are authentic, they'll bring in a little bit. Of course, not just my single earring, but you know, maybe they will. But you know, lesson learned again, this is always a gamble. And while this didn't say that this is 100% junk, because this isn't junk and there are some usable bracelets and some stuff to fix, but you, that's just, it's the chance you take. And this is a very disappointing lot, but that's okay. It happens. Hmm. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my um, awful unboxing. <laughs> it's not too awful, no. Um, but anyway, I still hope you enjoyed watching me go through everything and get my dirty fingers again and me put everything into the trash. <laughs> I'll look these up and figure out what they may be worth and if they're authentic. And if I remember to, I'll pop that up on the screen right here. Until next time, I'll see ya. Thanks guys, bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. I've put links to my Poshmark, eBay, and anything else that may be of interest to you down in the description.